up y'all it's your girl kai and i'm back with another video thank you guys so much for tuning in if you are new here what's up my name is kai you are tuning into my youtube channel it must be kai definitely go ahead and hit that like comment and subscribe button before we get right into this video and follow me on instagram at it must be kai all right y'all so if you haven't seen already definitely go check out that video that i just posted of me taking my braids out of my head so i have not been wanting to try a flexi rod set for a very 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 long time but i never really had the chance to do it i was always doing other stuff instead but now i'm like your girl is finna do a flexi rod set on this head i have seen so many youtube videos tiktoks and instagram posts i think i can do this and i think i can do it correctly because i want it to come out a particular way i'm gonna try to insert a photo of the look that i'm going for that i want to pursue with this flexi rod set and that's what I'm trying to do like I'm really trying to do like the two curl pieces down in the front and then it up and maybe like one or two curls hanging down in the back some girls blow their hair out and do this flexi rise set but I really didn't want to blow my hair out because I just blew my hair out to put braids in my head this is about to be an adventure but I'm hoping it comes out like I wanted to I recently washed and deep conditioned my hair these are the flexi rods that I am using I'm using the purple ones I'm primarily using the purple ones um, because I already had these the gray ones were a little too big I did want a tighter curl just in case the curl fell i don't really know what's gonna happen but yeah so i got these purple ones i actually have four packs of them so i was like i have more than enough to use on this head okay i'm really interested in seeing how this style is gonna come out and how long it's gonna last as far as the curls and stuff like that basically baby let's just go ahead and get started since i didn't just gave y'all a little background on what's finna happen today i'm gonna leave my hair in twist because um, I put conditioner in my hair with these twists in. My hair is not sopping wet. I don't want it to be sopping wet because I want to see how fast this style can dry. Currently, I want to say it's 8.30 p.m. And I don't want this style. So I just took a twist out and I think these are going to be two different flexi rods. So each twist I take out, I think I'm going to do you know just separate twist flexi rod flexi rod y'all get what i'm saying i'm just going in with this quench y'all know this was my bomb.com leave-in conditioner that i was that was like my main go-to before i put my braids in i'm just gonna use a little bit because the less product that my hair has on it the quicker it dries so i'm literally just gonna use this much because i don't want my hair to take all day to dry and the next thing that i'm going to be going in with i've seen a lot of people use different things but i decided to go in with this lot of body if you know on my channel i usually use the olive oil mousse but i don't know i don't know why i felt like i wanted to switch it up with this so i decided to go in with a lot of body this is the wrap me foaming mousse it creates soft wraps defines curls and tames frizz baby and that sound good enough to me because from what i do know lot of body is a og in the natural hair game i just never used it before so this is gonna be my first time using lot of body pump some of this in my hand because my sections are already detangled but i know it's gonna be up to me to kind of smooth out everything I just didn't want to blow my hair out again. Like, I really just did not want to do that. Okay, so we just gonna brush this out, okay? Yeah. I got so many thoughts going on in my head. I'm like, oh my God. Okay, because from what I did see, the girls that... I'm trying not to rake. it. I'm acting funny because I'm so used to raking stuff. But from what I saw, the girls was getting a little messy with it. So I'm going to wrap the end really good i'm gonna pull so Ooh. so i'm trying to like pull and smooth and pull and smooth i should have started at the uh, like at the end so i could wrap up okay this is when some girls was twirling it but i don't want to do that like i just don't want to okay and I'm gonna just bend both sides. I know some people just bend one, but I'm bend both. Okay, so it's in there. It look good, y'all. Do it look good? I hope I wrapped it tight enough. But hey, practice make perfect. So we just gonna do the same 
to that to this little back piece y'all getting like my full full reaction because at first i was like well let me try it see if it comes out cute and then i come on camera and show everybody and like try to do it but y'all getting my full all all my thoughts and my just what i'm thinking right now so i'm gonna start at this end this time because let me get some more moves i gotta do like the beautician shower it just be a whole bunch of it I hope this, I really, my goal for this is for it to come out cute and be something that I could wear this winter and that it lasts a long time. Like I really want my Flexi Ride set to last for like a week, like a wash and go, like for real. Like that's what I want. Okay, so I have to kind of work on rolling it because I don't want to put all the hair on top of each other. Okay, so I have two in. So now that I got two in, I'm just, I'm gonna stop talking and I'm gonna just keep doing what I've been doing and concentrate. And if I come up with something new or if I feel like I'm gonna try something new or something like that, then I'm up, I'm gonna come back and tell y'all. So let's do this. I got one quadrant of my hair done. Yeah, I was trying to make it like foamy and stuff. 
like how the beauticians be doing like they be having a hand like hands full of foam and stuff like that so my hair really wasn't wet but i think the amount of foam that i'm using i will be under the dryer for a while but i did smooth the hair as much as possible i think the curls are gonna come out smooth but like i said i think my roots might be a little wavy but i think that's something that i'm gonna be able to deal with as long as the the spiral don't come out like this like i don't want that um i'm gonna go ahead and finish this side of my head and i'm gonna come back so All right, y'all, so I got all the flexi rods in my head, okay? So this is what it looked like. Some of them, I ain't even gonna lie to you, I made them a little too tight in a couple of sections, but uh, I wanna say this took me like, I wanna say it took me an hour just because I was filming, but I know that if I was to just do this like by myself, like not filming it or anything like that, it'll probably take me 30 to 45 minutes, but I like it went pretty good i'm excited to see how they're gonna come out um on some of them i didn't get now that i'm seeing it my ends are starting to kind of like try to come out a little bit and not smooth down but that's okay this is our first time doing it and it was one of them up here i tried i did like the twirling method and tried to like twirl the rest of it in because if you notice i just rolled all of them all the way up but one of them I did like do the little twirling method. So I know which one that is. I can't point to which one it is, but I know which one it is. Depending on how it comes out, if I see that that one came out like the best and like my roots and all that different type of stuff, then we gonna go with that one. Like we gonna try to do it again, but like that one. So I'm actually about to go ahead and hop under the dryer. 
Um, I think I'm gonna sit on the dryer for maybe like an uh, hour, 30 minutes, two hours, and then I'm gonna just let just let it do what it do to be honest i'm not taking this out until tomorrow night so i'm just gonna go ahead and hop under the dryer for a couple of hours and i'm gonna see y'all when it's time to take this out and possibly style it see the finished product we're gonna take it out and react to it together i'm gonna talk to y'all later all right y'all so we are back it's time for the moment of truth i'm tired of looking like medusa i can't sleep i was trying to take a nap but i can't get a nap in so i was like baby let me go ahead and get up and take this uh take the flex rods out my head because your girl at this point is sleep deprived okay so my hair is fully dry okay at least i think it's fully dry when i touch it to be honest when i woke up this morning so i only stayed under the dryer for probably like an hour 30 minutes and it, I, my hair pretty much been dry all day to be honest i could have been took these out but i really just didn't feel like it so we about to take them out right now i have my coconut custard make it last wash and go curl revival oil because i really just wanted to put some oil on my hand so i don't frizz my hair so we really just finna take some of this in our hand and we gonna rub it in so that our hands are just nice and coated like this and we finna start popping these out because some of them are a little uncomfortable so i'm gonna go for this one because this one has been pulling since i put it in to be honest i'm okay that's cute or whatever it's curled that's for sure I probably should have wrapped my ends a little better, but it's curled. We gonna take them apart. But they are fully dry, y'all. They are fully dry. Trying to twirl them to get the uniform back going. Yep, totally dry. So at least I can say the drying time is not bad at all. My hair is soft. That's for sure. Y'all, I don't know about this. Cause what is this? Like this ain't even a, I don't know about this y'all. This might, this might be finna go into a pineapple for the rest of the week, honey. Oh, this is the one that I had twirled. Let's see how this one came out. No different than the rest. That's all right. Okay, I think I have to take them out a certain way. Like, don't just snatch them out. Don't just unroll them, but kind of like do do this to them. I think that's a better method because the ones in the back, I think I frizzed them just because cause of the way I took them out. I ain't even gonna lie, y'all. I'm kind of surprised that my hair is dry like this. This is shocking. But I think because, of, because I use the mousse, and the type of product that I used, um, that's why they're dry because I didn't use any type of heavy product. I don't think this is gonna give me the hairstyle that I wanted um, just by seeing it right now and how fluffy my roots are. Like my root is literally having my hair sit up like this because of the way I rolled it. It's not gonna lay down. But maybe this is one of those hairstyles where it gotta get old.
Okay y'all, so they are all out. For the most part, I did pretty much all of them correctly in uniform, except for these two are a little funky back here. But my hair is really soft. I might change it to a side part, I'm not even gonna lie, because I am about to take them apart. But for the most part, they're soft and they are completely dry. So I'm very happy about that. Let's put some more oil in our hands so we can separate these. I'm like, do I want to shake it out or do I want to separate it? Um, and for anybody asking, I did have 18 flexi rods in my head. Um, I forgot to tell y'all that and I kind of meant to count but completely forgot to count. Okay, so um, I guess we'll just start from here. This one, see, you see how this back one is just a little funky? Like, what is this? Like, what is that? So we're gonna start with this one and we just gonna kind of take it apart like this, I guess. Make a, I'm not gonna separate them too much cause I don't want it to turn into a frizz ball. Y'all, I like it. I'm liking it now. It's not gonna give me the little hairstyle that I wanted, but I'm I'm kind of liking this. And it's gonna I know it's gonna get longer because I'm a pineapple in my hair. So, I have completely unraveled my entire head. Um, I kind of do wish I did a free part instead of a um, uniform middle part. Because I could have maybe thrown it this way or something like that. But I do think it's, I don't know. I don't know. I do think I like it like here kind of like as a little bang middle part, but my bang is too long for it to be a bang. But this is this kind of cute. Like this is kind of giving like a different type of look. It definitely has to grow on me, but I do wish those two pieces weren't in my eyes like this because it looked cute like this. And my hair is so soft. Like y'all would not believe how soft my hair is, but. Now I see why girls blow their hair out or braid their roots because my roots are like fluffy wash and go and then my hair is like curls. So it's kind of a little tricky the way it is. Um, like when you see all of this, it's all just like 
crinkly wash and go and stuff like that it is soft as far as the bag let's see what the back look like i think the back just look like a bunch of what does the back look like yep just like i thought because i couldn't get very close to the roof y'all can kind of see how it's like fluffy wash and go and then it's curls on the end so yeah like look at this one this one looks like I didn't even, it looks like I just rolled it to the tip and that's it. Like this one really had, it, that, that one didn't even get a chance, baby. It didn't even get a chance. So to be honest, if I'm gonna rate this, as far as the way my hair feels, I'm trying to imagine it with like baby hair and stuff. But as far as my hair feels, my hair feeling, baby, this gets a 100, okay? My hair is soft, it is bouncy and everything. For the way the curls out, the curls came out like this and this, oh baby, it gets a 10. But this hairstyle on me and just how like big it is, I don't know. I have no idea. It looks cute like this. This is my, this will by far be my favorite way to wear it like as a bang, but to be honest, I can't see. This really the final look. This really the final look. So if I had to give the overall flexi rod experience a review, I would give it a six. Okay, I would give my first time a six because the curls came out pretty. It's just, I'm not used to it. And my roots are kind of fluffy. Um, but I do think you could style this and get a freaking look out of it. Okay, like I think I think I'm finna style this. I probably wouldn't wear a flexi rod set down, but I'm finna play with it, to be honest. So thank you guys so so much for tuning into this video. Thank you for sticking it out with me with this flexi rod set. If y'all got any tips, please comment down below. Because if you a flexi rod queen and you be doing this and you know how to do it and you like good at it, please comment down below because I do want to try to do this again. I want to try to do this again, maybe with a different method or something like that. I don't know. But I do want to try to flex your rod set again because this is giving right now. I just need some more tips and tricks, okay, to master it. So thank you guys so, so much for tuning in. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'm going to see y'all in the next video.